What is going on YouTube? Geo17 here and today I'm bringing you guys another King's Empire video. Now a lot has happened in the game since my previous King's Empire videos. There have been a lot of updates and a lot of new additions to the game which I will be going over in this video very soon. Now the first thing I'm going to go over is the new items that they've added to the store. They've added quite a few new items. One of them here at the top being the Divine Statue. Now the Divine Statue is one of the requirements that is needed in order to create a fifth city. Uh, one of the benefits of having a fifth city is that you get to create the two new units. To train the two new units that have been added to the game, I will be going over them in a little bit. But the requirements to having a fifth city requires 30 God Statues and 60 Pay Knight. Now God Statues at the moment, well divine statues as they now call them um, they can only be bought with gems so if you don't have enough gems you may need to put down some money to get them depending on how badly you would want a fifth city in order to train the new units um, but yeah having a fifth city uh, grants you the ability to train those new units as well as an increase in resource production now, another one of the new items is the Artisan Apprentice, which adds one additional uh, construction queue instead of four, uh, as well as various others like War Mobilization, which adds a lot, which allows for one additional line of attacking units instead of two more. Uh, strategic Shift, which allows you to randomly relocate your city, which is a very com common item that is uh, used in most mobile RTS games. Then you have some infantry, some new infantry um, boosts like the Phalanx, which increases infantry units attack power. Uh, Russia Cavalry, which increases the power of uh, mounted units. Magic Resonance increases the power of mage units. Then Machine Strengthening, which increases the power of siege units, such as the Battering Ram. Then another new addition they've added was skins. You could change the appearance of your city now. Um, they cost 200 gems. Uh, there's the Cathedral theme, which increases healing speed. Uh, the Dwarven theme, which I currently have equipped on my main city. I'll show you that in a little bit. Which increases your defense of your which increases the defense of your city by five percent which is a very useful thing to have for your main city especially if you have level 10 bindings on your wall slots and a level 40 wall which is very useful then you have the wizard theme which increases the strength and defense of mage units uh, orcish theme increases the attack strength of your unit your infantry units uh, elven theme increases food and wood production and underground theme which increases stone and iron output now let me show you the dwarven skin that I have on my main city here as you can see that's what it looks like when you've activated it and as you can see here I have my fifth city right there. That's what your fifth city looks like once you create one. Now let's go over to the fifth city so I can show you the new units that they've added to the game. Alright, so if you go to the barracks, as you can see, they've added the Zeppelin. Those are the stats. And the Meat Grinder. Those are the two new trainable units that they've added to the game they can only be trained in your fifth city now the meat grinder the meat grinder is now currently the most powerful unit in the game as you saw by the stats here it has an insane attack strength and it has insane defense capabilities it is absolutely a devastating unit I would highly recommend you start focusing training on these units because they are essential for attacking other players and attacking their cities and sending them to capital battles. They are by far the strongest units. They are also extremely expensive to train, so it would be highly recommended that you farm as often as possible in your fifth city. 
because these units are not cheap. The Zeppelin is it's an okay unit, it's not the best, but I wouldn't focus I wouldn't worry about that unit too much. I would just focus on the meat grinder. Now as you can see here, this is my fifth city. I don't have everything built in it yet. I don't have everything maxed out. Um haven't really noticed too much, too big of a difference in the resource production yet, but then again, I don't have everything maxed out, so once I get everything maxed out, I'm sure I'll be able to know the difference. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty much all the, um, yeah, that's pretty much all the, um, the new stuff that they added in the game. Um, in order to train the new units such as the Zeppelin and the Meat Grinder you need a level 35 barracks and a level 25 uh, Magic Sanctum in order to train the Meat Grinder. Uh, you do not need a level 25 Sanctum in order to train the Zeppelin. So yeah that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed watching um, don't forget to uh, check out the description of the video down below I have added a written strategy guide for the game and the written strategy guide is also available in the description of my previous two King's Empire videos. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time.